Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, uh, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Ms. Tawanyoike, a mathematics teacher. In today's lesson, we are in Form 4, Lesson 2, and the topic is Matrices and Transformation. And in this lesson, we are going to uh, reflect on uh, reflection as a part of uh, transformation and uh, reflection on the line y uh, is equal, uh, line x is equals to zero. That is the mirror line. On to the lesson objective. Uh, by the end of this lesson, uh, you should be able to find the matrix of transformation of reflection on line x is equals to zero. And uh, the terms used include uh, transformation, and this refers to the change in the position, uh, size, or shape of an object. And uh, there are different types of transformation, but in today's lesson, we are going to reflect on reflection as part of our the, uh, today's lesson. But there are various types of transformation uh, uh, other than reflection. We have number two, we have rotation, and number three, we have enlargement, and number four, we have translation, we have identity transformation, shear, and stretch, which will be covered in the lessons to come. Uh, on to the reflection, uh, there is an example one here. Reflection on line X uh, is equals to zero. Given that the triangle ABC, whose coordinates are A1, and 1, 2, and B, 3, 2, and the coordinates of C are 3, 4, undergoes a transformation T, whose matrix is represented by ABC. Uh, which are enclosed in a bracket, uh, then we uh, to form an image whose coordinates are uh, a, uh, uh, the image of A, uh, that is A1, uh, negative uh, 1, 2, and the image of B, uh, that is B1, uh, that is negative 3, uh, 2, that is the coordinates of the image. Then we have the image of the coordinate of C, that is C1, is supposed to be negative 3, 4. So you are required to plot the object and its image on a Cartesian plane and hence find the transformation matrix or matrix of transformation. Uh, you can see on this diagram here, I've uh, just um, uh, done the first procedure of just representing the object and the image on a Cartesian plane. We have a triangle ABC, that is our object in this case. And you can see on the question, uh, the coordinate of A was supposed to be 1 and 2. And you can see it is well represented, 1 and 2. Then the coordinate of B was supposed to be 3 and 2. You can confirm uh, 3 and 2. And and the coordinate of C was 3 and 4. You can confirm on the Cartesian plane. You can see it is 3 and 4. Then from there, you are supposed to plot also the coordinates of the image. And the coordinates of the image, A1, is supposed to be negative 1, uh, 2, as you can see uh, on the question. As you can see on the question, uh, is negative 1, uh, 2. Then the image of the, uh, the, the po coordinate B, that is B1, is supposed to be negative 3, uh, 2. And you can confirm uh, that is negative 3 and 2. And also you have the coordinates uh, of C, that is the object C. And the, its image becomes at negative 3 and 4. Then you can see it was negative 3 and 4. So the first procedure of our solution is already covered. And what next? you are supposed to come up with the the, 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 the the transformation matrix. And the transformation matrix is given by, uh, transformation matrix, you multiply by the object matrix, you are supposed to get the image uh, transformation of the image, all image matrix. Uh, this is supposed to be, uh, not image and image, supposed to be image matrix. And therefore you can see the transformation matrix, you multiply by the object matrix, you are supposed to get the image matrix. Then the transformation matrix is represented by a, B, C, uh, you can see in the question it was represented by A, B, C, D, uh, which was encrossing the bracket, and therefore you start with that. Then you multiply by the code, uh, the uh, you make the, uh, the the matrix of the object that is uh, coordinate A was supposed to be one and two, and therefore you write it a, as a column. Uh, that is one, two, and the coordinates of B you write as a column. Uh, uh, a column. Uh, then you have 
3, 2, and the C also you write in form of a column that is 3 and 4. So then you apply uh, the, uh, the uh, multiplication rule whereby uh, it is stated that you are supposed to take the row uh, in the first matrix, then you multiply by the column in the second uh, matrix. And that's why I normally say for remembrance, you can say Roman or uh, Catholic. Uh, the Roman, th that is the first matrix, you are supposed to use the row and the Catholic refer to the column that is as far as the second matrix is concerned. Therefore, you will take A, you multiply by 1, uh, you will get the answer is 1A. Then you take uh, B, you multiply by 2, yeah, then you get the answer as 2b and you're supposed to equate it to this answer which is here uh, that is the image of the answer uh, the, the image where we have the coordinate of x as negative 1 so you write negative 1 there then uh, in order for you to uh, to get the values of a and b you should use also the coordinate of b and you repeat the same uh, a you multiply by 3 you will get 3a you can see a times a uh, 3 times a you will get the a and b you multiply by 2 uh, you will get 2b and the answer becomes negative 3 and therefore you write negative 3. You solve simultaneously. This is the first part of the simultaneous equation and this is the second part of the simultaneous equation and after solving it using the elimination method, you put a negative sign here, therefore you minus. Uh, 1, you subtract 3, you get negative 2 and because it was 1a and 3a, uh, you will get the answer as negative 2a and uh, 2b minus 2b, you'll get a 0, so you don't write anything, is equals to 1 uh, minus minus 3, then you'll get the answer as positive 2, and therefore 2, uh, you divide by negative 2, and the answer becomes negative 1, and therefore the value for a should be negative 1. Uh, then you come and you replace the value, you take one of the equation, uh, that is 1a plus 2b, you can see the first part of the simultaneous equation, then you substitute the value of a supposed to be minus 1 uh, plus 2b is equals minus 1 then you shift the negative 1 on the other side and it becomes negative 1 plus 1 and therefore minus 1 plus 1 you get 0 and therefore 0 divided by 2 you'll get 0 and therefore the value for b becomes a 0. Uh, a continuation we have to continue so that we can get the values of c and d and what are you supposed to do? Uh, you will take uh, 1, uh, you multiply by C, and 2, you multiply by D, you will get 2. And you can see uh, 1, uh, this is C, you multiply by 1, and also D, you multiply by 2, you are supposed to get this denominator answer here. Uh, that is uh, this number in the second row, as far as the image uh, matrix is concerned, and therefore that is exactly what I've written here. Then you multiply uh, C, you multiply by the you get 3c you can see here uh, 3c it is there then you take uh, d you multiply by 2 uh, then you will get 2d you can see it is well written 2d then the answer becomes a uh, 2 and because in the the value for b is supposed to be 2 and therefore you quit it to uh, to 2 and after that you uh, you solve it like simultaneous equation and I'm going to use elimination method in this case and 1 minus 3 I will get negative 2c and uh, this one uh, once you subtract a uh, 2d minus 2d you'll get a 0 and 2 uh, minus 2 you'll get a 0 and the answer become a 0 and therefore you are supposed to substitute a 0 in the one of the equation and you will get a d as equal to 1 and therefore the transformation uh, matrix becomes negative 1 0 uh, 0 1 and therefore you are supposed to replace the values uh, which you have already calculated in, and you get the transformation matrix uh, we have come to the end of today's lesson and you are supposed to do this uh, uh, question as an assignment given that the coordinates of the triangle ABC are given as you can see here and its image are also provided as you can see uh, here a, uh, the image of A is this one, the image of B is this one, the image of C is this one. Uh, you are supposed to plot the object and the image of the triangle on a Cartesian plane and hence find the transformation of matrix that maps the triangle ABC onto its image A1, B1, C1. 
uh, for reference you can refer from a uh, secondary mathematics student book form and the publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information you can reach us through the following contacts as they are well displayed uh, for you. Uh, for more, uh, you for, for any clarification, just contact us and we'll always be ready for you. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Till next lesson, bye-bye.